Rachel uh, uh, came uh, to me and said, uh, I, want, uh, you I want to take you to a, someone's home who is suffering from sickness. Uh, could you pray for her? I said, okay. And she took me to uh, my own neighborhood. When we went into the house, uh, the, there was this young lady. She was a, a civil engineering graduate uh, who had been struck uh, by cancer. And um, because of her sickness, she had gone abroad. I think it was to Holland, where there was a meeting of many, many doctors worldwide. And they had determined that uh, her case was incurable, and they had returned her back home with a wheelchair as a gift. And after she came to uh, Ethiopia, uh, she, she went to so many different monasteries and uh, holy water places to get cured. But then the family gave up and they just uh, left her to die. So when I reached, uh, when I went into the house, they were preparing uh, funeral uh, uh, procedures and uh, food uh, for the mourners. Uh, and the, the home had a characteristic of smell, you know, and a kind of stench. And when I looked inside her bed, uh, I, I couldn't see her body because she was so thin. I could only see her head, and her head was just like a, a skull uh, covered with skin. And, uh, and I was, uh, I asked myself, I asked the Lord, the first thing I said was, Lord, what do you want me to do? Am I here to preach a funeral or, or uh, what? Uh, I was just so... But then I said, <coughs> and the Lord in my heart put it, just, pr just tell her about healing. Tell her to praise God for healing. So I started talking to her. And I asked every one of them to say, uh, I'm, I told her, I'm, I'm here to pray for you. And uh, I want you to say what I'm saying. Repeat after me. We're going to praise God for your healing. And she said, very in a very faint voice, she said, would you please pray for me that I might die? And I said, I'm not going to pray for you to die, for you to die because God is able to heal you. So, just follow what I say and say, Lord Jesus, thank you for healing me. And uh, she said, Lord, please kill me. She started praying. And one guy was saying to her, just follow what he says. Don't worry. Just follow. And I, I started saying, thank you, Jesus, for healing Elsie. Elsie, her, her, her name was Elsie. Thank you, Jesus, for healing Elsie. Thank you, Jesus, for healing healthy. And everybody, everybody that was there mourning and very quiet, and so I began telling them, every one of you praise God, okay? We have to believe God. So uh, everyone knelt, fell down, face down, and said, thank you, thank you, thank you. In our languages, tamasken, tamasken. Be praised, be praised, O oh God, be praised, be praised. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for healing Elsie. Thank you. And she was saying, please kill me, please kill me. And the other guy was begging her, just say thank you. That's what he said. Just say thank you, Lord, for healing me. That's all you have to say. So, so okay. She said, thank you, Lord. Praise God. Praise God. And then afterwards, I had to go. It was my lunch break from work. I used to work for an architect. Went back. And uh, next day, lunch break, I went to the grocery and uh, looked around. I said, I have to take something to Elsie. What? Yogurt, papaya juice. Okay, let's go. Uh, we went. I uh, asked uh, next day. We prayed again. And uh, I asked them. I, we prayed the same way. Uh, but before I left, I asked them, uh, so what does she eat? And they told me, she doesn't eat. She hasn't eaten for the last 15 days. And then I told them, okay, uh, now look, uh, Jesus will heal you from sickness, but he cannot heal you from eating because you are not an angel. You have to eat food. 
So, I'm going to pray for you uh, to eat. So, I brought you some something to eat. I will give it to you in a spoon, but we have to praise and we'll start doing it. Okay? And I, because in the Bible it says, uh, you know, when Jesus healed a, a dead girl after he raised her, he said, give her something to eat. Uh, when, when the Lord uh, talked to Elijah, uh, he, he was weak and exhausted. And he, an angel woke him up and, I, and the angel said to him, Arise, Elijah, uh, uh, wake up, eat and drink, for there is a long way to go. So, uh, that's what my uh, uh, I mean, the message was for her. Arise, Elsie, eat and drink, for there is a long way to go. And I began feeding her, um, and I, I praised God and went. The next day I came back with some food, a little uh, yogurt or papaya juice or some shake. The same thing we did. Amen. And then uh, I brought uh, some other sisters to come and pray with her when I am not available. They would come, pray, and go. One day I went, here, I went to see Elsie. And Elsie said, by the way, the first time I went to see Elsie, her hair, all of this from the back was bald because she had been laying on her back for about 11 months. Her hip was dislocated. She has not used her legs for so much time. And uh, she was very, very thin. But now she's gaining weight and uh, her hair is coming up. And, and she, she told me, uh, I want to show you what I can do. She said, what? She said, she sat up. She sat up. I can see it. And then she moved her legs down. I remember a day when I, I, I went to pray for her. I, I said to her, today I'm going to pray and I'm going to help you up. She said, no, 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 she has said that. But okay, next time you're going to be up, okay? Okay, then I, I left. You know, it was just my lunch break. But one day I went there, hallelujah, I saw Elsie stand up, walk up and down. Praise God. <laughs> Lord Jesus. She was healed. Amen.